easy as pie. So, truly abandon control to gravity. Things, good things are going to happen. So, what do you want in the way now? So, there's, a, there's an anticipation through impact that I want you to be aware of. I'm going to use different tools here to get you to really feel and drive the point. So, I have a penny. So, if I let my arm club unit fall through a penny, that's basically like hitting air, isn't it? Like a wiffle ball, you know those plastic balls with holes in them? So that will not offer any resistance whatsoever. Let it fall. Okay? That's like a practice swing in the, with air. Now, I take a volleyball. I put a, ball, a volleyball in the way. Let everything hang. Feel the weight of the arm club unit fall through the volleyball. Now the volleyball will not stop the swing, but it will definitely slow it down. So I let the weight of the arm club unit fall. Ah, oh, look at that. So the follow through ended up about here. But you can see how the weight of the arms and the club head were able to move that volleyball forward. If I have a basketball, even more resistance, right? Basketball will not stop the motion, but it'll slow it down. Back swing, let it fall. Ah, now it stops right about here, okay? Golf ball, yes, the golf ball's got a certain weight. Golf ball's gonna be somewhere in between the volleyball and the wiffle ball. So there is an anticipation of collision, right? So your body will naturally brace for that. Your central nervous system knows what to do. So as you let your arm club unit fall, arm club unit falls, then the club head unit falls, catches the ball, then it catches the ground. As it catches the ball, it compresses. Your, the grip pressure intensifies. The arm tone intensifies. The core tone intensifies. The legs, the contact with the ground. It all gets more intense through the impact zone, but it's not your job. Central nervous system reacting to gravity in anticipation of a collision is the job, okay? So here we go. Let it fall through the ball. So you notice now, the golf ball, which is not as heavy as a volleyball or a basketball, allows the club to go a lot further into the follow through, okay? So, I hope that helped the, uh, you know, marry the, the, the picture for you, right? Uh, insofar as letting gravity do its job. If you don't let gravity do its job, you're complicating your life to no end, okay? And just let the central nervous system take care of the anticipation. If I want to go a little harder, that's fine. So I've got the arm club unit falling. It's already falling in the proper sequence. If I want to add to that, well, it's in the video that we've seen just, just previously about the pulling action. Right now, my arm club unit is in a great position to pull. If I were in a tug of war, I'd be pulling that club. So it's like pulling on a big church bell. When do I assist? It's like pushing a kid on a swing. Not at the top. It starts down, then we apply the push. Push. Pull. Pull. There we have it. A momentum, gravity-based swing that's being assisted through a pulling action that is not your job. <laughs> Enjoy that. We'll see you in the next video.